So here we go, welcome to another edition of Game Day. We're back at sunny Portman Road as the Blues take on Shrewsbury Town. Can the Blues get back to winning ways after the, the defeat at Accrington? I'm going to go and get the sights and the sounds as standard. And I'll speak to the fans after the game and get their thoughts on hopefully a win. We'll have to wait and see. See you then. Hi, I'm James and I'm reacting to uh, Ipswich Town 2, Shrewsbury 1, and uh, what a delight to get a win. Uh, I'm going to keep it short today uh, because um, I'm heading off shortly, but I was really happy with the performance. First 20 minutes I thought were excellent. I thought Shrewsbury were just coming to sit in basically, and they were not interested in pressing at all. But then as soon as we scored our first goal, and then they scored their goal straight afterwards, then you just saw them press so much higher up and it really left Ipswich flat. But we were a little bit brittle in that regard, and I think we need to learn a little bit better how to play through the press. I thought our passing was decent at times, but um, not excellent, and especially going towards the end of the first half, I think that's a point where we're going to improve. Second half, I thought we were completely on top of them for the, for the whole half. Uh, we didn't create a load of chances, but again, like with the possession and with our phase of play, we just looked a class above them. I think my takeaway from today is that we need to be a little bit more clinical and put teams to the sword when we're on top of them. Um, and again, Macaulay Bond, brilliant performance. Uh, what a guy. I'm, I'm going to go home happy tonight. Thank you, Ipswich. Right, it's Mike yes. and Mark again. Mike. Back again. Mark. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about that one then, Michael? Oh, I, uh, yeah. It, First 25 minutes with total control, then after that, sort of like just oh, yeah. let them back in again. It got a bit tense, the crowd got quiet. I, I don't feel ever Second had... half, we've got our nose in front, and then we finished the game 2 1. Beautiful, Bob Jericho. Right, we've go. done then, that's. Um, no, I think I don't feel I've ever heard Portman Road that quiet at half time. You can send. That's like oh, I have. It's like. When, oh, you might have, but you're a bit older than me. But it's like when you get told off by your mum. We're not angry, we're just disappointed, and that's what we were at half time. 
and that's worse. And I think they sense that. We need, we need ten rows, ten wins in a row to catch the teams up above us. They're on two happen. point, you know, two points a game. Yeah, yeah, that could happen. Well, they, they could drop. We've well, got one already. Yeah, so we've only got nine more to get. Yeah, but in a no, row. I think. It's another case of where goals change the game. I don't think they were really at it at all, and then they score a goal like nothing. Who sorts of, who sorts of catering out around here? I don't know. Disappointing. Went down. But I, listen to this. Went down for a pie. Yeah. Half past. Half time. Half time. Half time. Right. Half past half time. Half time. Half I was nearly really first in the queue. No pies. No pies. Yeah, it could be worse. Could have been. What's going on? No pies. Been, it could have been. A Signed nineteen players, but we ain't got no pies. Could be a rubbish pie. I ain't got no pies. Mike's not happy. Not happy. You got all the I'm pies starving. before, I think. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm wasting away here. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, yeah. I don't really know what to say about the yeah. game, really. Get, get back to talking about the game. Because it, I don't think it was a great game on the whole, but yeah, like I said, goals change games. Their goal got them back into it. Our goal in the second half probably sort of sealed the game for us. Yeah, we should be winning games like this, shouldn't we? Yeah. It should be easily winning games. Yeah, we're, 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 been here before with teams like Shrewsbury, no disrespect to them, but I think they came here hoping for a point at best. And you know, I think all teams like that come here for just a point yeah. and to maybe just get that. I mean, their goal was good, wasn't it? It was a good finish. We'll give Mr. Wehe uh, Haley, whatever his name is. Wehe Haley. Wehe Haley, yeah. yeah. But yeah. if teams have got to score goals like that to get in the game, then fair credit to them because yeah. that's a good finish. But now, on to Cambridge. That'd be a, a very it's going to be a lively atmosphere. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be sell out, isn't let's it? Hope, so let's hope we can. Uh, that's, that's we can, that's we can quieten the, here, them it? down. You know, going to be like the Wigan fans. That's, that's closer to home than it is to coming to Portman Road for you, isn't it? Does that make it a derby? Apparently, according to you the, asked the EDT yeah. or Ipswich, Ipswich Star, apparently it's a derby. We're not having that. We're not having that. But anyway, Greater Anglia said it was going to be a derby as well. They're on extra two trains. Well, that's for Mark Deppen as well, isn't it? This left the station. Oh, right, okay, yeah, I thought I'd derailed. <laughs> Come on! Well, hi, it's Bono live from Portman Road. We've just seen Ipswich 2, Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury 1, um, Salop, etc. Um, it went really flat after we squandered another lead. I think, what did we hold it for about four or five minutes? Yet again, it kind of fell apart. The whole place went flat. It was like, oh my God, we're not going to do this. It's going to be rubbish. It looked, it didn't look too good, did it? But I think Cook and his corn at half time, we came out all guns blazing. It was much better. It was a very professional performance today. Um, I mentioned for Kyle Edwards today, he came on, he changed the play, he won lots of fouls. We played for those set pieces and we did a professional job. So. Yes, we didn't set the world on fire, but a win is a win is a win. Uh, Turbo Taylor's got me to say a win is better than a loss. It is. We've just got to keep this form going. We've just got to keep winning. We were the better team today. I think they, they slowly tried to drag us down to their level, but it didn't work. So we get the three points. Onwards we march, and it's a Cambridge next Saturday. Come on. Good afternoon, it's David. Um, I'm underwhelmed. It's a win. But I'm underwhelmed. Um, they're limited. We did the minimum of what was needed. And uh, for me, the, the, the same question marks remain. Um, and can I make a special reference to the three again? Um, I don't think it was a penalty at the end there, where, he got, where our play got booked, where Fraser got booked at the end there. But if that was a booking, their dive down here was inconsistency. I don't mind having a referee who's a pernickety git. But having one that's a pernickety consistent git would be quite nice instead of one who's a pernickety useless git. So, um, yet another <laughs> um, Yeah, we, we huffed and puffed. I, I, they, well, they have one shot, one goal. Um, we should have done way better. We didn't take control of the game. We allowed them back into it. And when we got, there, got the goal, which is a beautifully taken um, flick from, from Bon, we didn't take the game by the scruff of the neck. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, meh, okay, cool, we won. But it doesn't answer any questions as far as I'm concerned. Um, they're exceedingly limited. I think they're going to be in serious trouble across the season. But I don't think we, we've answered any questions with that. I, don't, I still don't understand why we take free kicks backwards 
it's a, it's a free cross into the box and we play them backwards. We've done it since McCarthy's day and it gets on my tits. Um, far too much backwards. Not enough positive. Burns, outstanding again. Danassian, outstanding again. Morsi grew into the game. Yeah, it did to win, but I'm, I'm nonplussed. Stegs here um, after a uninspiring win, to be honest. Um, it's good that we've won. It wins a win, but um, it's a little bit downbeat after that. Um, it shouldn't be, because, you know, like I say, it wins a win. But um, first half, I thought we played really well until, until we scored. And then typical Ipswich, like we normally do, sort of let them, in, let them into the game a bit, and they've gone and, they've gone and scored. Um, it wasn't a foul on Morsi. Um, I don't think so in my opinion anyway. Um, I think that was very soft. It's a very soft foul if that was given, so that's the right decision. But it's just a shame that they've gone and put it in the back of the net. Um, so, you know, 1-1, one, one, going to half-time 1-1. One, one, you know, we're just we're poor up until the half-time um, whistle went. And then obviously come out, obviously Cook said something. We looked a bit better the second half. It was a much, much better second half than it was the first. Um, Bond's header in the corner, brilliant. Um, so, so happy for him that he scored as many as he, as he has for us now. Um, so that's, a, that's probably our signing of the... Signing of the summer for sure at the moment, so so yeah, um, he's gone and scored, and we've done well not to let him back into the game. We've sort of held the game as we haven't got the three points. Um, we knew it was going to be tough. I mean, it's Steve Cushall, and we know that he likes to keep it tight and keep it tight at the back. So we we had expected a bit of a, a bit of a struggle today. It shouldn't be a struggle because it's Shrewsbury and we're at Switch, you know. And no offence to any Shrewsbury fans, but you know we we should be winning these games if we want to go up to back into the championship. Um, and we've been saying that the past two years now, so. No, it's, it's a win that we needed. Um, we've got the three points. Thankfully, we take that to Cambridge next week and, and see what we can do there. But after that, it's going to get a bit worrying again because if we play like we have the past two weeks, we've got Plymouth and Portsmouth um, coming up, and Plymouth top of the league after today, apparently. So, you know, it's a it's a hard month after Cambridge, and we've got to start getting these points if we want to get promoted. Um, Edwards, when he came on, thought it looked really, really good. His attacking presence was brilliant. Um, None of a good signing for us. Fraser was poor today, I thought. Um, he's not, I know at times he played in the middle, but he's not a winner. Um, he's not got the pace, not got the pace to play there. Um, and he's, he's wasting that left-hand side, to be honest. Most of the time he, he sort of gave the ball away. And it's, you know, it's, it wasn't a good performance from him. I think the, the back two had a good game. One had a good game. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we move forward. Happy with the three points at least.